All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechak Badash. Double honors to the elder apostles, great millstone, and salutation, and much love. Y'all came out there pushing out this word, truth to the city. And uh, I just want to do a quick video, you know, uh, just speaking on the return of the Lord. You know, the Lord's uh, entitled is something of uh, the Lord's coming back to judge everyone, you know, something along those lines. And we're just going to use the, the scriptures to prove it. All right. So we're going to go ahead and start off in, in Isaiah 66 and 15. And it reads, For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. So how is the Lord going to come render his anger and his rebuke? Well, he's going to bring it with flames of fire, all right, and with fury. So the Lord is bringing great judgment upon this earth. All right, the Lord's not coming back to give, every, give everybody hugs and kisses, all right. This isn't going to be a, a time of kumbaya, singing kumbaya and holding hands, all right. This is a time of great death and destruction, thus saith the Lord. All right, the Lord is coming back to judge the earth for all his wicked acts. All of the wicked deeds that have been committed of right century after century. Now it's time to pay up the tab. Alright, verse 16 says, For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. So you ask yourself, why are, are people dying? Alright, why are people dying from the coronavirus? Why are people dying in earthquakes? Why are people dying in, 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 in such and such situations? Whatever it may be. It's because the Lord is putting them to death. Right? The scriptures tell you that the, uh, the Lord killeth and he maketh alive. So ultimately the judgment that has taken place on the planet earth is, is through the hands of the Heavenly Father. Alright? The Lord sanctioned these deaths. Okay? If your grandmama dies, the Lord put her to death. If your daughter dies, the Lord put her to death. If your uncle died, guess what? The Lord put him to death. Alright? Alright? Because this is the time we're in. We're in the time of judgment. All right, here it is that everybody been thinking that the, the prophets of the Lord was nothing but bug outs and, and, and crazy guys on the corners reading Bibles. But guess what? Everything we've been telling you is taking place. What do you have to say now? You ain't got nothing to say. Because literally everything that's happening right now, here it is, March of, of, of the year 2020, and everything we've been saying for years Beginning with the uh, Elder Apostles on down of Great Millstone. We've been telling you these exact scenarios would be happening. And guess what's happening? What the prophecies say. What the Bible says. And that's exactly what we tell you. So when the Lord returns, it's going to be even more horrific. All right? Coronavirus got nothing compared to the day of the Lord. All right? When Yahweh Shai returns, the one people ignorantly call Jesus Christ, when he returns, it's going to be the worst day on the planet. Okay, the, uh, in history, because it's going to be ultimate destruction when he returns. Okay, and everyone's going to see him return. All right, let's go to Revelation chapter one, verse seven. It says, "Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every and every eye shall see him." So, guess what? The Lord's coming with clouds. And we understand them clouds to be, if you have the understanding of the scriptures, the clouds are so-called UFOs. Alright, so the Lord's going to come in, in, in the clouds and every eye shall see him. So the whole world will see the Lord return with his army. Alright, the chariots of the Lord, the so-called UFOs. And you can't tell us that, 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 that we're making this up because even the Navy, has, the, the U.S. military has come out and said that, they, the, that they're real, man. All right, there's a reason Donald Trump has created a space force. And matter of fact, going back to JFK, they talked about that then. Or Ronald Reagan. He said if, if, if the alien invasion happened, wouldn't we all come together to fight it? Yeah, you're right, because that's biblical. All right, pursuing the, sec the book of 2nd Ezra. It's uh, back in Revelation 1 to 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. And all kinders of the earth shall well because of him, even so I'm not. So the people are going to be welling. 
The scripture tell you that men's hearts fell in them from fear. Well, when them chariots, when you ignorantly call UFOs, appear and the sky is full of them, a lot of people are going to die. All right. And let's, you know, to clarify this, because it says, um, uh, behold, he cometh with clouds and every eye shall see him. Right. Guess what? Our Lord and Savior, the, the Savior of the nation of Israel, he left the same way. And we can easily prove that. Let's go to the book of Acts. This is the book of Acts. And I'm going to go straight to the point. This is the book of Acts chapter 1. Verse 10. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven. As he went up. Speaking on Yahweh, our Lord Savior. He was going up. Goes, matter of fact. Let's start at 9. This, let's start at 9. Because it, 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 in Revelation 1 to 7. It said he cometh through with clouds. Right? So this is Revelation, or so like, this is uh, Acts chapter 1 and 9. It says, and when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up in a cloud. And a cloud received him out of their sight. And while they looked steadfastly, so remember, he left in a cloud, as the scripture says. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel. Which also said, Ye men of Galilee, which were the disciples, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Yahweh, which is taken up from you into heaven, so shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. So the angels told the disciples, all right, the apostles later that went on to later become apostles. They he said, Look, why why y'all gazing up? The same way Yahweh left is the same way he's going to come back. And then you jump to the book of Revelation. It tells you how he's going to come back. He, it says, Revelation 1 to 7, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. So the Lord left in the cloud, a.k.a. a UFO. And guess what? He's coming back in the same way, in the same manner. And guess what? He's coming with an army this time. All right? And he's coming to, to rain havoc upon this earth. All right? To you unfaithful, decrepit, uh, wicked uh, um, infidels, okay, and a lot of people they they can't wait till the Lord comes back. As you know, you go to these churches and they they hooting and hollering, even though they're wicked as hell, talking about they want the Lord to come back. Well, let's see what the scriptures say here. And they, uh, this is like you give me one second, okay. This is Amos 5, Amos chapter 5 and 18. It says, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Say so, so woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Alright. To to what end is it for you? To so what is end is it is it for you? Because you don't even know what the day of the Lord consists. We just read that he coming back with clouds. Alright. And every every eye shall see him. And well, let's go back. Just in case you get it mixed up. Revela let's go back to Revelation 1. Revelation chapter 1, verse 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds. And, and this is the day of the Lord right here. Behold, he cometh with clouds. And every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. So everybody of the earth, all kindreds of the earth are going to be wailing except for who? For the elect. The ones that are waiting for his return. The ones that can't wait for you, how about Shema outside to come and bring salvation and destruction. Alright, because it goes hand in hand. So let's go back to Amos 5 and 18. It says, Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord, to what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. So the day of the Lord is not, ain't going to be no kumbaya singing and, 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 and ring around the rosy. All right. It's going to be death, destruction. It's going to be a day of darkness and gloominess. All right. People's hearts fell in them from fear. The people wailing. Okay. The, the kindreds <laughs> wailing. All right. That's the day of the Lord. That's what it consists of. All right. And now let's get. Let's lock it. Now let's get some more. Um scriptures to prove what that day is going to sound like man some some uh some uh adjectives so to say to describe the day of the lord it's like it this is uh luke chapter 12 verse 51 this is luke 12 and 51 it says and this is red letter all right meaning the, the messiah is saying this it says, suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth, I tell you nay, but rather division. So the ultimately the Lord, when he comes back, he's bringing division, okay? And leading up to that time, he's bringing division. You see, there's going to be 
uh, uh, the wars and rumors of wars. There's going to be divisions amongst those nations, all right, that are fighting each other. So it, in, they're going to have internal wars and external wars. The Lord is bringing this, man. The Spirit of the Lord has prophesied this. That's why the scriptures say that the Spirit of, of Yahweh is the Spirit of prophecy. We've been telling you that these things are going to happen. And guess what? They're happening. It's taking place. All right? Uh, that's it on that. I mean, I could I could keep going on that. But um, I just want to make this quick and, and to the point. Uh, you know, Israel got a short time to make. Because really, we make these videos for the nation of Israel. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And we have... The, the the Israelite foreigners that are scattered among other nations, all right, whether they look like so-called white men, Chinese men, Arab men, or or, or, or or African men, all right, our our nation is scattered among all the nations. So this is for them. The hell with it, all the other nations, okay. So let's go to Matthew chapter ten, verse thirty-five, verse like thirty-four. Matthew 10 and 34, think not that I am come to send peace on earth. So the Lord just said out of his own mouth, he's not coming to bring peace on earth, man. The Lord said this. The one you ignorantly called Jesus Christ said he's not coming to bring peace on the earth. It says, think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. So the Lord's coming to bring a sword. He's coming to bring division. He's coming to bring this death and destruction. And ultimately, he's going to save his elect out of all that. But that's only for his elect, which are the, uh, consists of the nation of Israel, all right? Whether, wherever so, wherever so they may be scattered, okay? And again, I can keep going on that, but let's just uh, make this quick. This is, let's go to Luke 9, or 19. This is uh, Luke, St. Luke chapter 19, verse 27. Cause this is what the Lord is gonna do, man. He don't He don't care about how you feel and what you say, man. If you ain't with Him, which is what we telling you, what He's all about. The, the scriptures tell you that He's a man of war. Come back to Him, serve Him in truth and sincerity. Keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. If you don't want to uh, 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 follow after those guidelines while He's not here, then guess what? When He comes here, it's gonna be even worse for you. This is Luke nineteen and twenty seven. It says. But those mine enemies, which would not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. So the Lord is asking, all right, for those that don't want to bow to him or don't want to take heed to what he's been saying through his prophets, bring them here and sl slay them. And, and, and Lord's will, we be part of that number. We're going we're gonna to partake of that ceremony for you, for you all right? So we'll end off on this because, again, this is for the nation of Israel. This ain't for nobody else, no heathens, all right? This is for the nation of Israel. This is uh, Amos 9 and, and uh, this is Amos 9 and 10, all right? Because the Lord specifically is coming back for you wicked-ass niggas, man. You, you wicked niggos, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? And the rest of you scattered abroad, man. The two-thirds of the nation of Israel will receive death on this side, thus saith the Lord. All right, and only one third is going to receive salvation. This is Amos nine and ten. All the sinner, so like all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. All right, the scripture is again. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. So where is all that that bullshit y'all be talking about in the churches that God loves everybody? He forgive you and this and that. When you when you when you go to the church and you ask for forgiveness. To whoever the hell you ask forgiveness from, all right, you're going to ask forgiveness from the white man, but you don't ask forgiveness from the the, the, the God of the, of the Bible. That's for damn sure. So guess what? It says all the sinners of my people shall so die by the sword. So guess what? It, all that talk about uh, the God hates the, the sin, not the sinner, that ain't biblical. The Lord said all the sinners of my people shall so die by the sword. All right, so two-thirds of our people is going to die by the sword, and which who's going who's gonna to be the one swinging it? Is Yahweh Shai, man. He's coming back to wreak havoc on this earth. And you see it taking place already. And it's going to get a lot worse. And only the elect of the nation of Israel that are truly following after him and serving him is going to be the ones to uh, uh, to, to to escape the said perils. All right? And that's facts. That's biblical. So with that, we want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Shalom.